Alrighty, thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing one uh, box of Liverpool uh, Prominent. Liverpool Prominent. This is edition one. This is the one that's the current players. We did edition two uh, last week or a couple days ago. We're doing edition one. I also have a Masters edition one that we'll see. Maybe we'll do that later tonight. I got to wait for Europe to wake up for that one. But... Uh, this one is Prominent Edition 1 Liverpool. I have a total of uh, five more boxes left after this. One Liverpool and four non-Liverpool. So uh, we'll do a few of them tonight. Uh, we'll see how many we do. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. This one is number 16. All right. Here we go with the random, guys. Yeah, but, you know, I guess unless all of a sudden the Spectra base cards are selling for big bucks, Trevor, there just wasn't value in it. But the, the problem is we always judged value by the quality of the autos in the product. Because that's why Topps products always sucked, because their autos sucked. But now, honestly, when a messy auto from World Cup Prism is selling for 500 bucks and a flipping messy silver Prism selling for 700 bucks. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, who cares about the autos anymore? You're just chasing silvers and prisms and refractors. You're not even chasing autos. I mean, sure, you want to get a nice auto, but the value isn't in the autos anymore. The value now all of a sudden is in the is in the, just the prisms. Yeah. All right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. I roll the dice, we re-roll snake eyes, otherwise we go with it. Six times. Six times. Yeah, exactly. It's becoming much like basketball. Basketball is the same way. Who cares about the autos? Everybody wants the prism, you know, uh, whatever, the rookie prisms. Six times. Here we go, guys. Good luck. This is for the draft order. One. Two, we're going six times. Three, four, five, sixth and final, six. Boom. Wow, Sean landed on top. Sean O'Gara, congrats, Sean, on six times. Sorry, Sean Hartnett. They reversed. Sean was in the 10 spot. He went up to the one spot. Sean was in the one spot, went down to the 10 spot. All right, let me take a picture of this for Facebook. All right, there's the draft order. Good luck, guys. Wow. Yeah, Sean, that's not good. The other Sean killed it. Does anybody know what boxes these things fit in? I don't know if any of you have tried. I don't know, Jeff, if you've tried shipping these. People ask me for the boxes, but they don't. The only thing they fit in is in large flat rates, the like the long game board ones, and those are quite expensive to ship, especially internationally. Forget it. All right, Tom. All right, Joel Matip, 7 of 15. Ronaldo jersey number.
Uh, yeah, after this is going to be Obsidian. Seven of 15, Jordan Henderson. Liverpool away game worn jersey. James Milner. Seven of fifteen. Seven of fifteen. James Milner. Yeah, and that's not like that's from like 2012, right, Leon? It's not even from like 2005, four or five or whenever. That's why a lot of people are looking at like World Cup Prism as like the first Prism card because there really was nothing before that. So, sure, you're gonna have those mega cracks or whatever that are gonna be worth monster dollars. Virgil van Dijk. I was going to say, somebody's got to have a jersey number in this. Match one versus Tottenham. Audi Cup match versus Bayern. Is that a Liverpool jersey? I never knew of a Liverpool jersey with green and white, but apparently they wore that in a Audi Cup match. That's why I always thought that was Senegal, but they all say it's Liverpool. It really does look like Senegal. I'm sure, our resident Liverpool fans would know about that. Nice one there. Divac Origi. Is that from? Sheffield, 28 September 
eventually it might, Leon. It's just that currently, you know, there's a lot more basketball collectors than there are soccer collectors. Now, that may change in 10 years. Because soccer collecting is relatively new. Lovren. I mean, I think always Panini is going to be better because there's a lot more people that collect Panini. Futera has got a much smaller collector's base. I mean, I think everything values up. I mean, I think the monster numbers are going to be more for Panini stuff, but you still do get good value with Futera. But, you know, if you have like a 2015 Messi Futera, you're not going to, or 2014 Messi Futera, you're not going to get, you know, 70 bucks for a base card. Because nobody really. Not that many people collect Futera compared to the other stuff. But the club cards do quite well because they're the only ones who really have them. Uh, Sheridan, Shakiri, but it's a different, they're very different products. Seven of fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two more. So it should be the, I think just the Salah and the centerpiece. Salah. Seven of 15. Good luck, good luck. Centerpiece time. Come on, be something good. Something sick one time. There we go. What color is it? It's black. Origi? Two of two, Divac Origi. 
Eh, not a very sexy box, guys. There's the empty box. Looks like it probably will fit in a 130. I've got one more case of this stuff. It's going to be Masters Edition 1. That's my last case of the Liverpool stuff. See, maybe we'll do that in a little bit later tonight. All right, Sean, you're first. Uh, if you know what you want, you want to pick, that's fine. Just, uh, I'm going to post a picture on Facebook. This one's going to go on Facebook, guys. So, you know, the other ones we're going to do live. So you have to be here to pick this one. Uh, it might take a little, will take longer because it's on Facebook. There's the Origi centerpiece, two of two. Take a picture of this. I think they're the same. Usually it's from... Yeah, same away worn jersey. It's from the same jersey. It's just two different areas of the jersey. Divock Origi. All right, hopefully we can pull a one on one out of the next box. That's the. My box is my. We had some sick uh, Mbappe boxes, but my Liverpool boxes have been pretty uneventful so far. this out of the way. I haven't pulled any one on one Liverpool yet. I haven't. Uh, Jeff was saying anybody who grabbed like four or more usually got one one of one. So hopefully that'll be the case with us too. I got one of each, but no one of ones yet. All right, let me end this. 